Arcosanti is an urban laboratory built under the concept of arcology, which brings together architecture and ecology. This concept was introduced by Italian-American architect Paolo Soleri. Ground was broken in 1970 on 25 acres located 60 miles north of Arizona State Capitol, Phoenix. Much of the construction has been completed by volunteers and architectural students. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel. We appreciate your support. We'll see you on the other side of the introduction and watch on. Paulo Soleri's vision began at his original studio in Paradise Valley, Arizona called Cosanti. I had the opportunity to visit this location earlier this year, and above is a link to that video. In addition to developing theories on the combined disciplines of architecture, urban planning, community development, and ecology, Paolo Soleri wanted to demonstrate the concepts through a living and breathing place. His vision became Arcosanti. Best known for funding his projects through the sale of bronze and ceramic bells, other funding sources were added to the mix, including workshops, educational retreats, event hosting, and private donation. At Arcosanti, there are even rooms available for nightly rental through Airbnb. In this video, we will visit the five-story visitor center that includes the gallery of bells and tiles that are for sale, plus the cafe with displays of creations from the residents of the community. A tour guide will take us to the ceramics asp, the barrel vaults, the amphitheater surrounded by residential apartments and common places, including a library and workout facility. We will see where Paulo Soleri lived when he was in residence. And lastly, the bronze bell asp. I hope you enjoy this video. And then once it's in this form, they pull it out in more leathery consistency. And what that allows is for the ceramics folks to uh, carbon the designs. And one thing kind of cool, if you notice these or really any of the bells around site, is that they're all different. So there's not like one set way that you need to carbon a design. And each person here doing it has their own style. Uh, it's kind of cool also to go back. And... So uh, these are the balls. This is, in some way, kind of the main artery of the place. It's a uh, transition between where many of the residents live and kind of the workspaces. These were the first structures built up on the hill. Uh, they were constructed from 1971 to 1972, the southern ball. And then the northern one was built from 1973 to 74. 
Um, they're identical with the exception of the keystone. If you notice on that one, it's a concrete connection. And then on the one, you know, the northern face of the wall, it's a uh, metallic beam. The reason for that is the concrete took like a couple of weeks to harden and made it a bit more difficult. So lesson learned there. Above that is the sun suite. That's where Paulo lived when he was here. Um, and it backs into a kind of like neat office. So that's where this, yeah, I guess office work happens. But behind it, there's another studio apartment. Um, right down here, there's like a audio photography recording place and a, uh, yeah, there's like a couple studio apartments in there as well. Um, so this area is the boundary, uh, the bronze boundary. This is where we make our bronze bells. And <coughs> this as well is an apse, southern facing, like the um, So again, it was a manage to come a little bit better. It's also a mixed use space. Um, the rooms on the bottom, those are stored for like equipment. But then up top, those are apartments that folks live in. So there's the family to the left, um, my buddy's out on the right. When those were being made, they had a glass out of the any walls, and they found the salt box underneath. It's very dramatic, but it also keeps the room quite a bit cooler um, than the other, you know, more purposely stated in the room. There's a large layer of green sand. It's a really, really fine material. And here's how it works. So the green sand is shoveled and then placed into these boxes. Uh, they're different sizes depending on the bells that are being made. And they're articulated so they open in many different directions. But what happens is a mold will be placed into the uh, crucible is just behind that pillar. Uh, it's heated up to 2400 degrees, which is a little past the melting point of bronze. And during the I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. I'd love to see you next time on Curious Paro.